everybody, sorry about the webcam footage that you're getting, but somebody asked for a quick video on how to do the Fobo Byte 2 TPMS sensor connection to your DMD2 app, whether it's on your Android phone, DMD device, whatever it is. So I'm going to walk you through on how to connect the sensors, how to install the app, how to do the widget and then how to get a program to automate the sensor every time you restart um, power on the device, etc. because mm -hmm. you may have an issue with that. So let me know if you have questions, but we're going to jump right into a screen recording on the device to show you how to do it. All right, so what you see here is the DMD2 dashboard on the home screen. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how to install the Fobo Bike 2 Bluetooth TPMS sensors. And then I'm gonna show you how to add this as a widget on the DMD2 um, app. So I'm running this on my DMD tablet device but you can do this on on any Android phone as well with this app and I'll put the link down and the information for this but I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how you can run a automation app because one thing I found was when you're running the widget for the Fobo device if you turn off or restart your device it doesn't always um, redetect the sensors without going and opening the app so you can run a software or an app to automatically start Fobo when you turn the device on and there's other ones that you can use I know Tasker is one we're gonna look at the macro droid it's free and so that's why I use it so first what we're gonna do is within the DMD2 app we're gonna go to our our different uh, apps and we're going to go to the Google Play Store. The first thing we're going to do is do the Fobo Bike 2. We're going to download and install this. So I've already downloaded it. I'm going to install. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and also grab the Micro Droid app and install that as well. And of course, by now you've already installed your sensors onto your valve stem. So um, when you get the box from Fobo Byte 2, it's real easy. Um, I'll sh I can't show you, but you just um, you unscrew the sensors per the installation instructions. You remove the battery tabs, and then just screw them around right to your valve stems. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go back to our our apps, and now you can see Fobo Bike app is installed. I'm going to click on that. You're going to have to sign up. It's going to ask you for permission settings, so notifications, Bluetooth, I'm going to enable Bluetooth. I'm going to go ahead and allow location all the time. Camera. Battery. And sure, why not? Crash analysis. There's I'm going to pick motorbike because it's on my 701 Enduro. Hit next. You can then add a profile name. So I'm going to go to, I'm just going to put mine as 701. Oops. Enduro. Go next. So you have different um, settings here. It can alert you for zero pressure, which I have. You can pick minimum, maximums. Um, so I'm going to do that after I set up my sensors. I'm going to change this to, um, we're going to go through and change some settings. So 
gonna go ahead and go next. I'm just gonna finish. I'm not gonna fill in that information. Okay, so now you're to this main page. So again, the sensors are already installed in your valve stems. We're gonna start with the rear. So I'm gonna click on the rear sensor, proceed. I'm gonna hold my device right up to the sensor on the back of my rear wheel. Now, if it says undetectable, try it again, because I've had this happen before. Yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna remove the sensor, because I've had this, again, this was on here already. So let's try what they're recommending. They say remove sensor for eight seconds, put it back on, try it again. So we're gonna do that. Let's retry it. Now it's installing the sensor, it says. There we go. So now we're going to do the front sensor. Hit proceed. Again, I'm up right next to the front sensor with my device. This is probably the only thing that's been somewhat temperamental that I've seen installing these is this installation. Once you get it installed, it detects it fine. There we go. What I want to do next, I want to change the, the temperature display the, and I want to show PSI. So I'm going to go down to profile. I'm going to change the pressure unit to PSI confirm and then I'll, yeah I want it to Fahrenheit so personally that's how I want to have it set so we're good there you can change your alarm tone on how, you, how it alerts you when the pressure is below your parameters you can change your color for now I'm just going to leave everything as it is I'm going to go ahead and go back actually doesn't look like it didn't take my Fahrenheit let's go back there we go so next up we want to go up to the top right to the tools and we want to, we want to change our minimum and our maximum so personally I run my minimum down to say 12 because I can all run my PSI down so I'm gonna put um, 12 for our minimum, for both actually. Again, you can set these to whatever you want. 12. Go up to the top right, there's a little floppy disk looking thing that hit, hit that for save. Now we're back to our main screen. You can see now our pressures are good. So I'm 16 front, 14.6 rear. It's within the parameters, so it's not red and we're not getting any alarms. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to our home screen on the DMD app and now we're going to set the widget up. So for the widget, I have mine on the right side here and as you can see it says external widget. To, If you don't have this already set up, you can go to the settings and on this far right you can click on that screen and set any of these um, different things to show up, whether it's media player controls, OBD2 indicators, those types of things. So if you select system widget, that's what you want to have displayed. Hit close. You can toggle between the different selections that you have. You're going to want to go to your external widget, click on the pencil, Scroll down till you see Fobo Byte 2. We're going to click on the 701 Enduro, hit set, and now it's going to display our data. So we're good. We have it. The sensors are installed, parameters are set, widgets good to go. The only issue is if I turn this off, if I restart it, um, 
the widget may not start again without us going into the actual Fobo Byte 2 app and initiating that every single time. So now we can go and set up that macro droid program to automatically run and start the app every time we power on the device. So we're going to go to our applications. We're going to go into macro droid. Go through the prompts. I'm not going to upgrade. Okay, so th the next thing we want to do is we want to add a macro. So hit the plus. So we have, to do it, we have to do a trigger, an action, and any constraints. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a trigger. So click the plus. We're going to go to battery power. Let's see. No, device events, sorry. We're gonna go to device events and go to device boot. So we're gonna add that as a trigger. For actions, we're gonna go to the plus icon. We're gonna go to applications. We're gonna go to launch application. Say okay. Now we have to set this to overlay. So we need to go to macro droid, select it toggle that on, go back, do it again, hit launch application, go ahead and say OK. Now we're going to go ahead and select it to open our Phobobyte 2 app. You don't need to select any of these, you can just say OK. Constraints are optional, I'm not going to actually add any of these. So I'm going to enter a macro name. Um, I'm just going to say Phobo. Oops. Phobo app. Go back. Hit save. I'm not going to do that. All right. So now, again, macro droid. It, it's free. Um, most likely if you want to use this long term, you're going to either need to purchase it or get the Tasker app. To me, this one is a little bit more intuitive and easy for the general person. Now, Tasker can do a lot more, I think, uh, but I think for just this general purpose, this is a good, a good option. And this really does help you automate it a little bit better. And so now, every time that you power off your device, restart your device, as soon as it turns on, it's going to open that Fobo Byte 2 app automatically for you. And then you can just come back to your home screen, to your DMD2 screen, and it's going to automatically update your widget, and you should be good to go. So, um, really great option. You know, I, I was running the Psychic. TPMS for years, just with the little module on my dashboard and the sensors. This is just another way to try to really keep everything on this main DMD2 dashboard. And I'm hoping that John with DMD can somehow incorporate this data in other ways within the system, because I think it would be really, really great to be able to use this on, say, the map screen here to where we could use um, potentially these different GPS sensor um, areas to add that same data. Again, not for sure, but I think the widget is fine. And what's nice about this too is if you have your Cardo or Cena hooked up to your, whether it's your phone or DMD device, those alerts are gonna come over your speakers. So even if you're not directly, so if I'm in my map screen, just following my GPX route, even if I don't see my um, my pressures on my main screen, as soon as they drop or they start to to leak down quickly, I'm going to get that alert over my Cardo unit, which is great. Um, that's the one thing I notice with the other stuff that if I'm not looking down or if I don't see it beeping, because a lot of times I'm not going to hear it because I have my music playing, I'm talking. 
on my Cardo. So with it being piped in through your Cardo, that just adds another um, kind of peace of mind that's gonna alert you and you're for sure gonna hear it. So um, I do like that option. So I'll link down the link to these, these uh, apps to the Fobo devices. Again, it's not the cheapest out there, but it's very high quality from what I can tell. Yeah, there's cheaper ones out there. You can get some for 30, 40 bucks probably. You can find these on sale too. I know just a couple days ago it was on sale for $89. Now it's 99. But again, I think the quality is there. Um, great reviews from folks. So we're gonna test it, uh, see how it does. And I hope this was helpful for everyone. Let me know if you have questions.